Five states, including New Hampshire, are lifting some restrictions on their stay-at-home orders. But as Christina Rex reports, it is not a return to normal operations. New Hampshire is reopening in small steps, starting today with elective health care procedures, allowing doctors to tackle a backlog of patients that developed over the last six weeks. Everybody's really happy to be back, and the, and the staff at the center is really happy to have jobs. Dr. Stephen Murphy is in the operating room again, replacing hips and knees at North Atlantic Surgery Suites in Salem, New Hampshire. But first, staff and patients have to mail in an at-home COVID-19 test. We want to keep the community safe, which is one of the reasons that we're so serious about about all the testing. While a small fraction of the New Hampshire workforce is back open, major summer hotspots like the beaches remain closed. Now is not the time to be inviting or enticing folks out of Massachusetts to come up and, and uh, either recreate or vacate uh, or vacation up here in New Hampshire. Just not the time for it right now. And they'll stay closed until further notice. Signs and cones along Seabrook and Rye beaches discourage people from taking walks along the ocean. And so far, the Rye police chief says people are failing the test. What we're seeing is a lot of people walking pedestrian wise and a tremendous amount of motor vehicle traffic and a lot from out of state. Some of the bicyclists are stopping and sitting on the rocks and eating lunch. The exact thing, if we would do a phase opening on the beaches, what we're asking you not to do. Many residents are following cues. We think it's best to take it slow and, and gradual and open up slowly. But it's others, many from out of state officials say, that will make it hard to open the beaches for the summer. When I ask them if they know Governor Baker, they say they do. What does he ask you to do? They said stay at home. I said, why are you in Rhino, New Hampshire? Governor Sununu announced all businesses will be able to get masks for free from the state and that first responders will now be paid hazard pay, that money coming from the federal government. In Seabrook, New Hampshire, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Christina, thank you. A key model 